Everybody, this is a new series of videos I want to start doing where I compare the advantages and disadvantages of a survival mode house. Um, every house, I'll be covering every house in uh, the base game, every house in Creation Club, as well as uh, all the Hearthfire homes and the Guild Hall Guild homes. Uh, it might take me a while to get them out because I don't have every house unlocked right now. Um, I don't have every creation clubhouse, I don't have every, you know, I, I'll have to start a new character to get the Brotherhood, of the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood and all that, but, um, eventually I hope to review every home, uh, but I figured why not start with Bree's home, the most basic house, so, um, yeah, let's get started. Before, uh, I will timestamp the, uh, actually talking about the advantages and disadvantages, but before that, let's do a tour. Okay. First off with the tour. This is the outside. This is the living room here. Weapon rack. Kitchen area, dining room area. Kids' room is what I chose over the alchemy station. I can't actually change that. Here we have the house Carl's room. Sure, you all have seen Bree's home, but wanted to do the tour just to be thorough. Okay, here's my room. Lydia's eating a sweet roll what over here, some bread, I guess. Okay, now let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages. I already did film halfway through this video and realized my mic was muted again, so. All right, so for the advantages and disadvantages, first of all, this is the only home located within the city of Whiterun. If this is your favorite city, right, this is, and you want to spend time in the city, in a home, this is your only option, okay? That is one advantage, right? There is the Tundra Homestead. There are a lot of homes in this province, but there is only one home inside the city available to buy right and this is a this is the first city that you get to in the game probably so it is probably you know for that reason valuable to have a home so early on in the game now it's also the cheapest home it only costs 5,000 septums I'm not sure how much it costs to decorate it but uh that also makes it a game that you can get or a house you can get very early on Second advantage is that if you choose the Alchemy Station, you know, it's 24-7. You can, uh, you don't have to wait to go into the Alchemy, you know, the Alchemist shops to do Alchemy. You can do Alchemy here in your house. You'll have up Alchemy pretty fast early on in the game if you want to grind Alchemy really early on. Uh, another reason is that the cooking pot in the, uh, the cooking pot in the tavern is not necessarily the best cooking pot to use because the people there will kind of talk to you and try and initiate conversation with you every time you try and use it, which is something that you probably wouldn't know unless you play on survival mode. And that obviously doesn't happen in your house. Okay. Another reason is that if you want to, another advantage, I guess, is that if you want to have a family in the early game, that you can marry Lydia, you can adopt uh, Lucia, who's right in town, and basically, you know, except for getting an amulet of Mara, you can have a family 
without ever leaving Whiterun. Um, but you need to get an amulet of Mara somehow. Okay. Uh, second, uh, next advantage is that it's a city home. It's a, it's a home inside a city. Um, there's a lot of crafting stations around the city. There's merchants. There's quests. So that is always an advantage to have a home in a city. Uh, as opposed to a hearthfire home or creation club home. That's not in a city. Some of them are. Okay, next uh, is that you can get storage relatively early on in the game. Hold on, I'm going to eat. Uh, yeah, you, you don't only have limited inventory space in survival and you can't fast travel. So it has an, it's nice to have a place to store your gear, right? There is a chest here, you know, upstairs that you can put stuff in. Uh, another advantage is you can role play, you know, that this is a home that is highly defended. It's inside a home, you know, city. Uh, you have a house Carl inside your home, constantly watching your home, your stuff. You know, if, you, if you're worried about thieves, you know, in, in role play sense, you, you know, if there aren't really thieves in the game, it's not really a mechanic, but it's, for me, I like to have, I like to feel like my family is like defended while I'm away. Um, and this is also a great house if you want, this is the last advantage. This is a great house if you want a, just a really small, cozy home, you know, you don't want like big fancy homes, you want small, cozy, humble. Okay, now let's get into the disadvantages. Um, one big disadvantage is the lack of the enchanting station or really any other crafting stations other than alchemy and cooking, right? It's probably one of the most bare bones homes in terms of features. There's only one book stand over there. There's like one weapon plaque. It's, you know, there's not a lot here. It's very bare bones. Uh, it's very small. Um, another disadvantage is that the alchemy station, you have to choose between the kid's bedroom or the alchemy station. You can't have both. Um, another disadvantage is that, uh, Lydia basically just stands here. You know, she doesn't hang out here. For me, it's a disadvantage that she's sitting here watching me while I sleep. You know what I mean? It's giving me creepy vibes. I am your sword and your shield. Thank you, Lydia. She could be... I want her to stand here cooking, you know what I mean? Or just guarding the... If she could sit right here, and then if somebody snuck in, she'd be there, but nope, she's up in the... She's up in my room. Uh, and another... You know, another disadvantage is that, uh, you know, Nazim lives in White Run. So, you know, if you... You know, this house isn't in the cloud district so when he tells you that you know like you don't live in the cloud district or that you don't get to the cloud district very often even though you live here you know he's right you know what i mean and you feel bad because you live in the poor poorest house you know what i mean in white run you know basically this is like the worst house in white run if you go break into people's homes it's not really. I mean, it's actually pretty nice compared to some of them, but compared to like some of them, it's actually pretty small, you know. Okay. And that basically wraps up episode one of the of this uh, video series. Um, thank you all for watching. <laughs>